Hi, this is Mrs. Jarreau, and this is your digital arts plan to pass. So let's imagine that you just don't have any points at all. Um, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to click on grades, okay? And just take a look at um, the types of things that are in here. You've got everything organized by weeks. Uh, you have an or orientation quiz. You have a test and an assignment in your first week, okay? In week two, you have a test and a critique quiz. In week three, you've got some reading with some checkpoint questions that are worth five points each, and you have a test. And then you also have an assignment. In week four, you have a critique quiz. In week five, you have some checkpoint questions and a test. In week six, you got an assignment. In week seven, you have some checkpoints a test and an assignment, and week eight, you have a critique quiz, okay? So you'll notice that most of it is quizzes and tests. Uh, there aren't very many assignments. So there's the week seven assignment, the week six assignment, the week three assignment, and the week one assignment. So there's only four assignments in there. The rest of the points from the class are all from tests and quizzes. So you wanna go into your content, that's where you'll find everything. And um, just start here at the beginning. So you can go to the orientation, recording and quiz, and that's the first thing that you'll wanna do is just watch the orientation. You can right click and open this in a new window. That way, while you're watching the orientation video, you can have the quiz open in a second window and you can pause the video as necessary to answer the questions. You should get a perfect score. Um, the next thing is uh, just some how to submit to the Dropbox, my schedule, contact information. Here's week one. So you're going to click on week one and I like to, I prefer to click on the subfolders because then it opens everything up. So you'd open on that subfolder and uh, read the directions. It'll tell you how to download Inkscape. You'll only be using Inkscape to do the assignments. So for this plan to pass, what I recommend that you do is work on all of the tests and quizzes and then go back and do the assignments if you still need points because the assignments are going to take you longer. The tests and quizzes, you could probably get them all done by the end of the week if you sat down and worked hard. So it'll say, watch the videos and immerse yourself into the artistic space. Right click on the week one test and open it in a new window. Open the lesson introduction visual art. Resize your test and lesson windows so that you can see them at the same time. Complete the test while you read through the lessons. Once you submit the test, read the feedback on each question. So as you go through these, you'll notice a check mark. You'll get a check mark and that'll tell me that you've completed those. So you're just gonna sit back and watch the videos and learn about digital arts through these videos, okay? Then you're going to, according to the directions, right click on this week one test and open that in a new window. And then you'll go through these lessons here. And as you're reading through the lessons, you'll be taking that test in a second window. So you can read each question and go through the material and answer the questions based on the material. So that is the strategy that you're going to use to pass the class. Remember I was saying you can just go ahead and skip the assignment. So you don't need to worry about the week one assignment for now, okay? Just skip over that because that's going to be a little more time intensive. Go ahead and just click on week two and there you go. You have a lesson and a test. So same basic concept. This one is a little different. I tried playposit. Uh, dot com and these ones have to be manually graded so if you don't have a score for that automatically it's because I have to manually grade them so I'll be going in there to do that uh, later this week so just get it done and know that I will grade it later it says to watch the elements of art and principal design videos below and to click the week two test link below to evaluate the digital art of It's a Beautiful World. So you do need to watch these videos in order to be able to do this play pause it test, okay? Then there's a week two critique over here, so click on that. And it says to open the week two video critique below and it will explain everything. So here's the video. 
you're gonna just right click on that quiz right and it explains that in the video um, and then you'll take the quiz while you watch the video and voting for the winner that's past due you can't do that anymore you also can't do the Friday bell work anymore because um, those were only open for a week at a time uh, week three has a lesson and test you can do that so click on that and just follow the directions okay and then uh, there's uh, let's see a week three assignment you're gonna skip that right so skipping assignments just doing lesson tests and quizzes so go to week four and there you go you've got a critique click on that and just click on that critique quiz right click on it right open in a new tab and um, here is a slideshow that you're going to open up and use to take that quiz week five has a lesson and test so just click on that follow the directions week six has an assignment so you're going to skip that right and go to week seven and there's a lesson and test yay you can do that follow the directions week eight there's a critique click on that and get your points there and this week is just a makeup week that's week nine and next week will be final so that's your plan to pass everybody um just get in there and start working on those uh tests and quizzes and then at that point if you really focus to find the answers in the material, you can get perfect credit, okay? And you can also retake them. So if you bomb it, go back and try a little harder to find the answers in the material. Those quizzes that I make, those tests, they do go in the same order as the videos. So watch it in order and pause it as necessary and rewind it as necessary if you miss something, okay? Um, so get those done get perfect scores on all of your tests and quizzes and maybe you'll already have a passing grade at that point wouldn't that be awesome and you won't have to do the assignments but if you don't have a passing grade then you can go back and start working on the assignments that's your plan to pass have an awesome day